Hey, what's up, guys? Perlas is back. And it's been a while since uh, I've done some videos. It's been a couple of years. And, um, you know, I apologize for that. The, uh, the the main contributor is, you know, when you have kids. I uh, recently had a kid. And, um, well, I haven't recently, but two years ago I had a kid and uh, it took a lot of my time. And I decided to, you know, let's get back into YouTube and maybe post some content. And uh, I've, you know, read some comments uh, for the the healthcare folks and the IT folks. And, you know, I wanted to finish up this series. So what we're going to do is I'll do uh, part two, part three, and whatever parts it takes to, to cover the content. Uh, the, the first one was, you know, was pretty basic. Uh, what we're going to do is how I see this, uh, this series is basically we're going to uh, go through setting up a interface engine. And we're going to be using something called Mirth, which is up on the screen there, uh, the website. Uh, and what we're going to do is install Mirth on a virtual machine. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll take you through some steps on setting up an interface engine using Mirth, sending maybe a, a sample ADT message, and kind of like, you know, some, some basics basically with Mirth. I'm not going to go too deep. Um, and then we will uh, talk a little bit about how to use it, what its benefits are, um, you know, how can you take advantage of, of using Mirth uh, open source technology so you don't have to pay anything. And um, some of the new things coming out with, um, you know, the HL7 space and stuff like Fire and uh, JSON, APIs, uh, some new companies coming out. Uh, so, so stay tuned and, um, you know, listen in. I will tell you that my channel is going to take a little bit of a change. I will still keep doing healthcare IT and health and IT, um, you know, stuff. Uh, but I, I do want to start getting into some other things and uh, I might be posting some gaming videos. So I don't know if any of you are gamers, but I'm going to start another, not a different channel, but I'll keep it into a different uh, playlist for, for gaming. And um, if you like that, more than happy to, um, you know, post a comment, subscribe. And if you want to play some games, hit me up, let me know. Uh, so, so yeah, so, so keep a lookout. We'll be finishing this series up. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, install Mirth. So there's a couple of things you can do this. You could do this the way I'm doing it, or you could do it your own way, uh, depending on your knowledge. So what I'm going to be doing is I have downloaded the Windows 10 trial, I guess you could say, from, from Microsoft. And you can go to this website. Or you could Google it, uh, and you'll get to this page. Basically, download Windows 10. Uh, click Download Tool now. It will download a tool where you can actually save a local copy to your desktop or to a USB. Uh, whatever your preference is, I downloaded it to my desktop. You can see it here. It's an ISO file, um, and that's all you need. I have a code, a key that I can attach to VM, so I'm using it. And it's easier for me to use Windows. If you prefer to use Linux or something else to host Mirth, by all means, you're more than willing to do that. And it's probably you know a less resource intensive you know thing to do because if you're running a server like this, you probably want to use Linux or something in production. Uh, I wouldn't recommend Windows. And if you are doing a Linux install, hopefully you're, you're comfortable managing it and uh, understanding the, the requirements around it. But for, for our purposes, we're just going to be using uh, VirtualBox here with Windows 10. And VirtualBox is a virtual machine open source uh, client. Windows has Hyper-V that comes with it, depending on your license. Um, but VirtualBox is pretty simple. Uh, lots of guides and helps that um, folks have out there that use it. And uh, it's, it's pretty easy. So I, I, I'm using this. You can use anything else. Um, so what I've done so far is I've downloaded the ISO file. I downloaded VirtualBox, installed that, followed the prompts, uh, made a, uh, an image. And uh, basically, if you don't know how to do that, there's lots of guides how to install Windows on VirtualBox. Um, so once you get Windows 10 up and running like I do here, get into your VM and download Mirth. And you're going to go to the mirth.com website. Uh, click download now. 
it'll ask you to probably fill in some information. Go ahead and click it. It's not going to confirm your email or any of that junk. Uh, it'll go ahead and download it. Run that install. I will tell you, you need to download Java um, in order to install Mirth. So there is this particular Java JRE. And I believe you need Java JRE 64-bit uh, and the SE 64-bit. So if you're having problems, just download and install both. I think it's this one right here. Let's see if we can find it. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Oracle. So yeah, so if you go to this website here um, and Java SE Development Kit, you can download the uh, I don't think it's actually this one. I think it's another one, but um, I believe it's the SE79. I, I believe you can use 8. It's 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 just the, the latest version. Um, but once you download that, uh, go ahead and download Mirth and run this. You'll see a, an icon here. I've already installed Mirth. Um, go ahead and just run it. It's going to ask you for for some default prompts. Just follow, follow all the default prompts. Um, it's very easy, self-explanatory. Um, Mirth uses two main ports for its interface. It's 8080 and 8443. So if you have another service uh, on your, your machine or your virtual machine that's using those ports, you might have some, uh, some issues. So you're going to need to either change those ports. And you can change those ports two ways during you set up in the install or after the install, you get this Mirth icon. Uh, go ahead and right click that and show manager. Go to server tab and you can see here where you can actually change the ports. And if you have a firewall, I would say go ahead and check your firewall. Make sure that those, those ports are open and you can reach them externally or internally. Uh, for me, it's just going to be within my VM, so it's fine. Uh, and what that means is if, if I actually had this server out in the cloud, um, whether it was an Amazon web service or not web server, Amazon E2 uh, server or a uh, digital ocean or whatever, you know, I don't know, free or low tier cloud hosting solution like Azure or something, uh, you would have to open up these, not just the, the ports, but also the IP access. So uh, you would get an IP address or a domain name in order to access it via the browser. And to give you an example, so this is a VM, and if I wanted to find out my IP, I would type in, you know, IP config. You can see here my local IP is 10.0.2.15. So if I were to go to this, whether it's in the VM or uh, in some other, some other, you know, computer in my network, I could actually navigate remotely to this. So let's try that now. So. 15.8080, is it? So here, so you would get something like this. And uh, if you didn't, did not want to administer the, the server, the, the Mirth server on your server, uh, you would go to your laptop and type in this address and you could click here, launch the uh, the Mirth. And it will download a, a basically like a thick client to your desktop and you can save it and launch it. It'll open up in Java like so. Uh, one thing, uh, when you do install Mirth for the first time, the default password is admin admin, uh, and it'll prompt you to change the password. So I've already done that. And so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Actually, I'm already logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. Because if you've seen the background, I've already got it up and running. And I was playing around with it. So kind of ignore that for a second. Uh, let's see. Save changes. Sure. Okay. So you, you have Mirth here now. So um, let's take a dive into Mirth. So, so Mirth, again, is an open source interface engine. Uh, lots of potential, lots of tools. Um, what you see on my screen right now is basically one channel. And you know one channel is one interface, um, basically. There's an inbound and outbound. And if I double click on this channel, you can go through uh, different things. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more detail in the next video about the uh, channels. So we'll come back to that one. So this is Mirth. Um, now that you had it set up and installed, um, what I would recommend doing is going to users, add another user 
instead of admin, you can rename it, you can create another user. Uh, I'd also recommend downloading the guide, follow the guide, follow the examples, and that will also help you get comfortable with, with Mirth. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with it, it's very powerful. And um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So that's it for the install. Um, next video, we'll go into more of Mirth and, you know, setting up an actual interface like I did right here. Okay.